Hello everyone, Miri here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am happy to announce that I finally finished my turnaround rip sheet, which I posted in the community post not long ago. Thankfully, the only thing missing were the butterflies with the little ink trail that they have going on when they fly. And if it looks a little bit wonky, it's essentially because I used a brush that is a little bit difficult for me to handle because I only use it like once when I design my concept art for what will be now my future model, you know, when I am able to commission it and rig it, but you know, I had the idea that I essentially drawn because I wanted my model to look like a performer and I like butterflies a lot. They are my favorite books, so I put the two things together and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love how it turned out even though I still need a little bit of practice when it comes to lights and shading, but I think it came out really good. Like, I'm proud of it. And I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Now, for Starry Flowers, and I'm thankful that I didn't forget the name this time. Today, I played through most of Chapter 4, which is essentially when Pastille and Periwinkle go on the little brunch date. And it was adorable to see them so comfortable around each other and to open up about their past experiences and whatnot. And it was amazing how they understood each other. None of them overste over overstepped if that's how you pronounce it, each other's boundaries, and they actually were listening to each other. And I found adorable how Bastille basically gets flustered each time Periwinkle, the, you know, raises him up, if I'm also pronouncing it well. <laughs> yeah, honestly, when I see how flustered he gets, it reminds me a lot of me because... If a guy spoke to me like that, I think I would be reacting in the same way. Like, I saw him and the more I looked at him, the more I realized that Pastille is so me. <laughs> like, the way he reacts to whenever Periwinkle flirts with him, it's... Oh god, I repeated myself too much, but <laughs> it's just that I can't stop thinking about it. Like... I can't relate to him so hard on that regard. And I also find it really cute whenever Nom Nom Nami draws his reactions in this really cutesy chibi way. And <laughs> he's so adorable. Oh my god, I want to protect him. Protect the bean at all costs. He's adorable. And also, Periwinkle better treat him right or else. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting protected over him. And rightfully so. And I also find it amazing how talented he is. Like, his abilities are not as explored in Syrup and the Ultimate Suite, but here in Starry Flowers, it is revealed that he is an, an astral witch, which is essentially related to creation and the cosmos he's still trying to figure it out and <laughs> i essentially learned about his abilities just today so i'm kind of on the same boat but yeah that was found out when periwinkle and pastille went to the went to the apothecary store where astra works my queen <laughs> and i must say that that i think that she essentially warmed up to Pastille pretty quickly. It was rather adorable too. Like, she's pretty chill. I like her a lot. <laughs> well, I have already mentioned it, but yeah. I figured that I would repeat it because why not? <laughs> but yeah. I also love that they were able to talk openly about their past and none of them judge each other, you know? It was really, really neat. Now, 
I don't know where the game is going right now, you know, the ending and stuff, but I believe that those two will have a happy ending. By the looks of how the plot is going, I'd say as much. And I hope that we can finally get Periwinkle to admit that he is, in fact, in love with Bastille. Because I am pretty sure that Bastille won't have any trouble admitting it. Like, he's pretty open about his feelings. Even though he's shy, I can tell that he's the type of guy that wears his heart on his sleeve. In a really cute way, I might add. <laughs> he's adorable. But yeah. <laughs> That's all that I have to say for now. Oh, also... I have to let you know, guys, that tomorrow I have a family event going on, so I might not be able to post any videos, mainly because it will extend, I believe, until way late at night, and I think that, that I might not be able to record, not even a bit, but we'll see how that goes. The good thing, though, is that I will be having really good food. I was sent the pictures and I can tell that it will be a feast. <laughs> Anyways, that's all, again, that's all that I have to say for now. See you guys in the morning or the day after tomorrow, alright? Take care!